we compared within the Visionmax 500 a difference in laser delivery of how by altering the spot track distances for the Visionmax 500. So when the laser is fired during smile, on the same raster, adjacent spots are called spot separations, and the distance between adjacent rasters are called track distances. Now, traditionally, uh, most literature uh, has smile being performed in this symmetric spacing setting. For example, four by four or four and a half by four and a half. The asymmetric spacing looks more like 4.4 by 3.6, with the track distances much tighter than the spot separations. So the purpose of this study was to confer, compare the conventional symmetric versus the modified asymmetric, but with the same energy load of 625 millijoules per centimeter square. It was a retrospective in design, employing just up over 500 eyes, the usual inclusion and exclusion criteria employed. And again, at six, milli six millimeters, the Caraton Scout was used to obtain corneal hybrid reparations at one day, one week, and one month. And visually, they were not very different at one day, one week, and one month. For high order aberrations, for total, coma, and spherical aberration, there was a staggering amount of less induction of corneal high order aberrations with the same femtosecond laser platform. Now, if we look at the inductions just by themselves, with the red asymmetric boxes, we even see those spots going below zero, meaning we are actually decreasing some coma and spherical aberration, uh, aberration uh, than prio. So why does this happen? This, of course, is not really clear. However, laser tissue interactions that happen during LIOB, the spot separations placed further apart may have less influence on one another's microcavitation bubbles being formed after plasma uh, generation. And of course, the repetition rate of the treatment laser pulses alters the lifetime of microcavitation bubble. This may also be a factor involved 